Hi guys, uh, we're back again, just had a bit of technical difficulty, batteries ran out, so we're going to carry on with our stretch and folds. Um, basically, we did the first stretch and fold, one half hour, then we did two lots of one and a half hours in between, and now we're at the last hour. So we're going to stretch and fold it for the last hour, and you'll get to see how stretchy it's got over the last several hours. Um, once we've done this stretch, we'll leave it for an hour, we'll come back, and then we'll put it onto the bench, and then divide it into loaves, and then we'll bowl it up ready for baking in the morning. So let's get to it. There's a few air, air bubbles forming on the surface there, which is pretty good. Head and we'll just go a little bit light spritz. Spritz there. And then we'll bring it out onto the bench. Just damp our hands down and and it's got quite stretchy. Beautiful. Good stretch there. So we'll just go around and do a few stretch and folds. Oop. Broke a bit there. That's a lot stretchier. You can see. A little bit sticky. The hand's not quite wet enough. There we are, it's looking nice and shiny. Put the bowl back. And we'll put them in the bowl. Tighten them up a little bit. And we'll leave them in there for another 45 minutes to an hour before we come back and, and put it on the bench and do our final shape. Cool. Right. Time now to divide our dough. To do this, we're going to get some flour and we're going to dust some flour over the top. So once it hits the bench, it won't stick, hopefully. And a little bit on the bench as well. A little bit there. Right, and that's... Stick your side up. Dry side down. Dust our card scraper, and now we've got to divide it into two loaves. Try the sticky dough. Put that one to the side. And now it is forming a loaf. Just fold it over. Quite a sticky dough, this one. And then it's just straight, just tucking it in, just like such, just get a little bit of tension on the surface, tucking it in under itself. Leave that one there, give it a little bit of a dust. All right, next one. A little bit sticky, this one. And just straight. Just give it a bit of tension, tucking it under on itself. 
you can use a card scraper I use it like to wipe my fingers and just tucking it underneath gently just to puff it up keep that air in there and we'll give that a dust and then we'll leave this for another half an hour 45 minutes let it rest and then we'll come back and we'll bowl up ready to rest in the fridge overnight okay it is the final shape we've got to, we're going to shape these up into balls and into um, into some bowls we've got two bowls here they're going to go into not the traditional type of sourdough baskets you get but i haven't got them so we make do with these and i'll show you a little technique for holding the flour so it doesn't slide around on the bowls in a minute but first off we'll give these nice dusting on the top just a light dust on top and then got a card scraper we're going to actually scrape and flip these over to the sticky side up dusted side down And we'll just let those rest for a moment. In the meantime, we have some wholemeal flour that we're actually going to dust our bowls with. Um, wholemeal or whole wheat, as some people call it. Um, and to make it stick, because if we put flour into our bowl, it just... It will slide and it won't stick onto the sides so what I've discovered is I get my spritz bottle with water and I just spritz lightly the bowl with water just a light spritz of water and I get a scoop and some flour and I just give it a, a light dusting and the water just helps to keep that wholemeal flour just sticking to the surface so it doesn't slide off and down into the bowl and then we just give it a little bit of a dust so as you can see the bowl is nice and dusted we'll do the other one this one's a different shape just whatever bowls you've got you don't have to buy the expensive baskets you can if you want but if you haven't got them you just use this and the bonus of it it gives a nice surface on the cooked bread as well just a slight wholemeal look and texture on the surface that one's done there so they're ready right okay now let's get rid of this here excess flour in there okay now this is the final shape so uh, we don't want to, it's got air in it and we don't want to, we just gently fold it over one way just to keep the air in it so we don't deflate the bread, just gentle. This is how I shape it, roll it over and then just tuck it in ever so slightly, just gently without deflating too much of the air. And that just tucking it edge under itself just to tighten up the surface for the surface tension just so it just quite sticky this dough and just give it a light dust on the top and we turn it over we grab our bowl and we put it dust side down sticky side up 
Just give that a twist to hold that together. And then we get our dusting of flour, just dust the surface of the of the dough, the sticky dough. And now that is ready to refrigerate, ready for baking the next tomorrow morning. Um, so when we turn it out onto our wooden peel to put in the oven, we, it gets flipped over. So this is the bottom and the top is underneath, of course. Right, so we'll get the next one. Just folding it. Exactly the same. Tension on it. Right, and just a little bit of a dust. And flip it over, upside down, into your bowl. And the same thing, give it a light dust. The flour and they're ready to go into the refrigerator no need to cover them just leave them as they are they'll be fine and the surface gets a little hardens up a little bit but that's fine um, and they're ready for baking you can see the baking sourdough baking day video on in my videos on how I baked it um, so this is the process up to now. So, yep, good luck. Just get started. Thank you.